Oh shit, tutorial time. We're going to the Twilight Forest today. How do we make the portal? Well, easy. You just grab some flowers surrounding a 2x2 two two water source and you throw a diamond in there. Wait a little bit, lightning strikes. We're gone. Welcome to the Twilight Forest. This will either be your greatest place that you'll ever live, or possibly not. First thing we should mention, some areas are dangerous. If we switch ourselves to survival mode, you can see that there's black rain here. Well, what does black rain mean? Or slightly blue tinted rain? Well, if you stand under it, that's acid rain. Don't touch it, that's for later when you progress. So, we're gonna go over a couple boss orders, how to kill them, and I'm gonna make this fairly simple for all of you. Let's run this really quick. Welcome to your first boss, this is the Naga. This is the first boss in the Twilight Forest. You're gonna wanna equip yourself pretty hefty here because this motherfucker packs a punch. So, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna break into the place. You will see a little uh, boss bar above you, and then you see this! Now I'm just gonna say, he packs a little bit of a punch, so uh, be a little careful here. You can use bows, you can use swords, axes, any melee thing, so... You see, you just do this, he's a relatively easy uh, thing to kill, like, that's a snake. Whoa, you're right there. He's a relatively easy boss to kill here. So once you kill him, you're gonna get these, which are Naga Scales. With these Naga scales, you're actually going to need to kill a couple more of these little slimy fucks, so... To get a chest plate, some leggings, boots, and armor, you're going to need these Naga scales to make them all. Once you have got all the Naga scales, craft an armor, let's actually go on creative here. Going to want to make a Naga chest plate, along with some Naga leggings, and boom, there you go. You get the challenge completion thing here that says Naga armorer. Perfect, you're ready to move on to the next step, let's go. Oh man, it's the Lich Tower, this is the next step, probably the most pain in the ass boss. You'll notice that since you've been here, there are no force fields that are coming around you, so... To enter the building here, it's very dark, oh no, I was just buying a painting. But yeah, you're gonna wanna get up all the staircase here, but um, here's a little challenge for you. Every now and then, first of all, there will be holes here, but second of all, there will be these things there. So you're gonna wanna go all the way up to here. And if you just about avoid anything that comes up here, you are then going to be greeted with the also friendly lich that sits atop of the tower, right at the top floor. They will spawn in, and wow, they are a pain in the ass to kill. You guys check this, well first of all, this thing shouldn't even be here. But second of all, this thing is a pain to kill. If I actually heal myself because I didn't bring food. You need to knock out every single one of these little uh, things right here and they teleport around so they are uh yeah they're uh, they're not so easy to kill here so what you need to do is you need to hit it and you have to make it to get onto them to break the shield once you've broken all the shields here you can then start to melee attack them with your sword but my god is it a real pain in the ass and especially to kill these little bitch asses right here it's gonna take a little bit of a swing so I'm going to speed through me just getting through this miserably, and I will be back with all of you. So you see that I've just broken all of their stuff. They're going to start spawning these dudes here. Very nice. Wow. But if you can just manage to get over to him, you can then start to hit him. He's like a big enderman here, except un unless it's like, unless you're even just standing near it, it's going to teleport away from you. So wow, you are a pain. So what I find easy to do is I take a bow here, and I can just do that. Then you get your lich stuff. Very nice, and you get some sort of scepter from him. I know there's like two or three scepters. This one's life draining, so I believe that if you uh, grab something, like if I go over to here, and I grab that book there, I can like take their life or something, I don't know. Something like that. Alright, next boss. Here we are at your next destination. This is a labyrinth. This is the Minish Room. So what you're going to do, you jump down in here, you'll go down pretty swiftly. Now, here's the real challenge. You got to navigate this labyrinth to locate a Minish Room. Now, it's not like this thing is all fun and games and everything. No, this is a pretty dangerous labyrinth here. It's uh, any corner, something could uh, be right at you could eat your ass I don't know something there are things everywhere in this place so I recommend being careful but you're gonna to want to go down all these levels here 
and you eventually are going to find a Minish Room. So I'm going to cut ahead to me finding the Minish Room. Boom, Minish Room right here. Let's get some night vision going on here. Minish Room in here. That's his little spawner here. That's a slime behind me. What the hell? Get back. Yeah, run away. But that's what you're going to be going after here. So, I mean, you can all, you can kind of just stay on the end here. Do that. And that kills him right away, but... Otherwise, you could just go in. Get stuff there. But now, to open up the next area, you're going to want to take, uh... Where are his, uh, his little stews that we had here? Sweet, yeah, he's got some stew here. Take that. Mmm. Mighty whatever that is. This is what gets you to the next area. Let's go. Here we are at the Hydra place. So what does the Hydra place look like? Well, it's a big ass mound inside of this fire forest. And then you see this. It says Hydra. And by God, the Hydra is very powerful. Also, I'd recommend being careful around here, but that's what you're up against. What you're going to want to do for this one is you see arrows, don't go by it. So, thing that you need to do here, which is going to be very inconvenient because of this thing right here, but you're going to want to go into the middle here, and you're just going to start beating at his PP here. That's all. It's going to be a pain in the ass, yes, but if you have a very powerful sword, you should be all good. And then once that happens, you get Hydra Slayer. And you can watch the thing die. And then, if you have some open inventory space... You can then grab these items here. Also, there's a miniature room head, a bunch of other stuff that I dropped. But there you go. And then looking to see if there's anything around here. Yep, fiery blood. Fantastic. You found fiery blood. All right. I'm gonna grab. I have my arrows. All right. Cool. Now we're on to the next boss. Welcome to the stronghold. This is in the dark forest. You know, that place where all the dark leaves are. Usually when you go into the dark forest, the stronghold isn't really that far away from the actual entrance here. This one happens to be a little bit further in. And what the hell? Why are you out here? Uh-oh, this isn't good. I'm a little laggy here. But yeah, you gotta defend off of these upper night goblins. Yeah. You see that there are little men inside of them, actually. So though they are a little bit threatening and though my game does suck because my computer sucks... Yeah, there are little men inside of here. Just get rid of them. And you're all good. And you gotta get to this place, which is... The entrance. Yes, there is an entrance. Yes, they look like they can be above ground, but no, you can't actually dig into them. So, what you gotta do for this one is you gotta place any head on this pedestal. I, for one, use the Naga head because that one is very common. You find those things all over the place. Once you've done that, you jump into here. And now you need to find the area where the knights are. So it's another maze again. Yep. So run around here. There's a ton of good loot around here. So grab some stuff. You feel like it. A little cobalt here. I'm in. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff around here. Get some of those. But let's go and find the knights. For the most part, the knights are located at the absolute bottom of the stronghold. You enter in here. Get your bane out bonk just just get them all obviously you probably won't have access to all that they are very hard also i think they have shields okay um maybe i can do this oh but that's the actual one okay cool there you go and then on the inside of here you get all this cool stuff phantom helmets are very nice so let me actually empty my inventory out here and you get these knightly swords knightly pick Knightly axes, phantom head trophy, the phantom head trophy, and then you get some other cool stuff. So yeah, very nice items. Uh, they're very powerful too. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to put that on my head and we can move on to the next area. Long awaits a forest of multiple colors looking like you're in fall. I'm actually going to fly up here, but this is the Urgast. It's this big ass tower here that you need to enter from either the bottom or you can go up from the top but this is what it looks like you can enter from the sides you can enter from the doors here if you press on these they open up you can go inside and it's just a big maze once again 
but you need to make it all the way to the top up here. Sometimes you can pillar up, can be a little bit dangerous, but I recommend pillaring up probably unless you want to do the maze or some good stuff in there, but you want to get to the top. Once you get up to the top, if I'm going to go into survival, you're going to see this. Step a little close to it, and you get this guy. And these awful sounding hellish screams are what are going to petrify you. But it's a fairly easy boss to kill if you have the right tools. I have this giant diamond bow from I think Tinker's Construct or something. And they go down pretty fast. You get a chest here with some with um Carmite. Carmonite and some fiery tears in here, and then you get your Urgas trophy. Pretty cool stuff. Alright. Next boss now. That one's pretty easy. After a treacherous adventure, you're going to come up to the snowy forest and you're gonna find this. This is the Yeti. Specifically the Alpha Yeti. You tried picking me up and you failed doing it. So you're gonna to want to come to the middle here, you're just gonna stand here, and then you're gonna see this guy. However, you hit him a couple times with this thing. Usually it's a lot harder, but then you get this stuff. Alpha Yeti fur, Alpha Yeti stuff, alright cool. You can find multiple of these guys, and these things are actually pretty cool. They're uh, ice bombs, so you throw them at something, and it leaves them in ice. It's pretty cool, I like it a lot. And there you go. So now we're going to move on to the next boss. Boopity schmoopity do. am I witnessing Aurora Borealis here? Possibly, they are Aurora blocks, but yes, you are. And this is the final boss, or I get, well not the final boss, there's still some more to go. But, welcome to the Aurora Castle, I don't know, there's some, some hot uh, snow queen in here that you're gonna want. You want her? You gotta go get her. So what you gotta do, there's an entrance here. But now, making your way through the labyrinth, hey, back off, you gotta find your way all the way up to the snowy queen. There's some parkour, there's some other stuff, however, you can just, uh, you can pillar up, or you can do what I'm doing, which is going into spectator, because I'm lazy, and you can go all the way to the top. And this is where you want to go. Now, there, I'm going to warn you. I've spawned in some of these things, and they don't have a boss in them. And I hated it. But you're going to come up to here. And this is when you know that you are almost done. Uh, get up to here. And there she is. The Snow Queen. They're actually much harder than this. If I go to survival, you'll see this. You can't actually hit melee from here. If you want to hit something, you're going to have to like rely on going from up top or when she goes down. So she'll break through the glass or the um, ice here, but sometimes you'll get lucky and you can manage a shot down through there. And then you actually get this pretty cool bow here. Let me actually grab that. It's the tri bow, which I mean, it's just three arrows but still like kind of cool this has multi-shot four on it so it shoots four but still tribo i think you can actually put multi-shot on that if i'm being correct i don't know but yeah you get the ice queen head here right here the snow queen and then you can move on to the next area welcome to the cloud you're going to need to pillar up here. I didn't bring pillaring blocks, so I'm going to just cheat my way up there. But this is the cloud. This holds a home to giants. Big, big giants. You thought these people were giants? Well, just wait. Because what you're going to be fighting are giant versions of you. Ah, giant me's. I can only sustain a normal sized one. But yeah, you just hit them like that. Can get these two around here too. But you get these giant tools, which if I actually pick one of these up, it's a giant pickaxe, but just wait until you see how much damage the sword does. Eh, actually it's not that much, but it looks ridiculous in your hand. All right, cool. So now there's a thing that you gotta do. So once you've acquired your items here, there's one thing that you gotta do. And that is drop down. You're gonna die if you don't have anything with you, but since I'm a little cheater, I'm going to drop down 
And then there's something beneath the surface. If I actually heal myself because I saw I was a little hunger. But there's something beneath the surface. Finding an open area to the cave, it's usually right below the cloud. Or something like this. There's an opening. And if you go down, you have giant obsidian. What do you do with this giant obsidian? Well, I was a fool and I left the pickaxe up there. So I'm going to need the giant... What the hell is it called? It's just pickaxe, right? Giant's pickaxe. So let's go back into survival here. And you're going to need to mine this thing. The giant obsidian. Why is it a giant stone pickaxe and not a giant iron one? I don't know. I didn't make this mod. Alright, you get the point. You break these. And then inside are chests. In these chests are this lamp of cinders is what you need. Anything else doesn't matter, it's just this lamp of cinders that you need. Alright, now we're gonna move on to our little finale here, let's go. Oh man, I seem to not be able to get past here anytime I somehow try to maneuver my way above it. I'm not gonna wait, waste my time break that, but I can't get over. Cool, lamp of cinders it, break it. Lamp of cinder, break it. This is how you're going to need to get to the top here. But since we don't have all day and I don't have all your attention, we're just going to do this. And this, once you've trudged all the way through this, yes, it's going to be a pain in the ass, but you're going to reach this big ass kingdom. This is the final boss. So, scale to the middle, wherever that may be. Right over here, I think. Start pillaring. Grab an ender pearl. You're gonna need it. But you're gonna pillar all the way up here where you can ender pearl. And then you're going to drop down into here. They're like glass panes. And that's the final boss. This little man. What the hell? Jeez. Why was he so strong? Anyway, that's the final boss there. You've won the Twilight Forest. So that is the Twilight Forest for all of you. All the bosses there in a very short amount of time. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.